This video is going to consist of sterile gloving and gowning three ways. We've got our open glove technique, we've got our closed glove technique, and gloving and gowning the surgeon. Stay tuned. Welcome back to another Surgical Tech Tips video. Fortunate event again, we had another canceled case, surprisingly. Usually it doesn't happen this often, but I'm glad for it. At least I can, uh, you know, use the setup. So first thing you notice with this setup is that I have all of my gowns right there. They're all sterile, they're all sterile on the field. I'm not scrubbed in, currently. And most likely you won't be either after you set up your case. Sometimes there's time in between, uh, you may be waiting for a surgeon or, or whatever the case is. Sometimes you may not be scrubbed in. So, in the event that you're not and you're scrubbing back in to start this case, try your hardest to open up, open up a separate gown somewhere else. You can open it, if the patient's not in the room yet, maybe you can open it up on the bed. Uh, you can open it up on top of a trash can, a, an extra mayo stand, a prep stand, some, something or somewhere else where, that, somewhere else that's not gonna be your sterile field. Uh, if your hands are wet, if you, you know, do a wet scrub every single time, you don't want to be dripping any water or anything onto your sterile field that you've just created and spent a lot of time working on. If your room is too small and you may not have enough room to do, you know, to put a gown somewhere, then yes, you can take a gown off of there. Uh, I would really try not to. A lot of people do. I'm guilty of it myself sometimes if I'm in a hurry. But uh, you should really try and not do that as much as you can. Arms are up always. Grab your towel first, open it up, stay on one side, fingers, hand, all the way out to the elbow. Use the left side of the towel, fingers, hand, all the way out to the elbow. Get rid of it. Now the gown. If you notice, we have cuffs here. So we're going to take the back of the gown, put our hands in the cuff, open it up, and arms go in. Your hands never come out of these cuffs. Never come out. Now some people may have already opened up a pair of gloves on top of their gown, and that's okay. You can absolutely do that, and in fact, I think they tell you to do that in school. Um, I personally don't like doing it that way and my reason being for that is that this is a very small sterile field and when you're opening up a pair of gloves it's very easy to contaminate the pair of gloves that you open up on top of your gown. Especially if the gloves are sitting up on top of your gown you go to pick up your gown and the gloves fall off, they get contaminated, and then what do you do? So personally, I like to gown off of the field, but glove on the field. The reason being is that my hands and arms are wet from the scrub. So once I put this gown on, my arms and hands are technically protected. Yes, there's still an opening at the end of the cuff, but I'm not dripping all over my sterile field. Uh, that's personally that's the way I do it it may or may not be the right way I know for a fact that in school they had us open up our glove and gown in in this little tiny square um, in real life though I just find it a lot easier and safer to glove myself on the sterile field so let's take it over there alright so we got our gloves on the sterile field remember hands are inside the cuffs we're gonna open up our gloves
just like that. We're going to take the first glove. First glove is going to be the right glove. They're all they're indicated right and left. We're going to take the first glove, and what I like to do is because these these are pla these are you know latex or plastic, whatever they're made out of. They're always a little sticky, so I like to hold the cuff of the glove and pull on the fingers a little bit to kind of loosen them up. So we're going to take the glove from the cuff and flip it over. With your left hand, you grab the outside cuff. With your right hand, the inside cuff. And you're just flipping it over your cuff, the cuff of your, of your gown. That's all it is. Flipping it over the cuff of your gown. Now that that's on, you kind of pull the cuff down, or pull the cuff of the glove down a little bit, and then pull the gown sleeve itself. Now be careful with pulling on the gown sleeve too hard because these can tear pretty easily and I've had them tear before. So now let's do the left hand. Now this glove is technically sterile. So again, I'm grabbing the cuff of the glove, pulling on the fingers to loosen that glove up. Flipping it. So. My, my words, my numbers, and everything are down facing my palm, holding, holding the cuff of the glove with my right hand and the cuff of the glove with my left and flipping it over. Pull that glove down a little bit, pull on the gown, and we're in. That is a proper closed glove technique. And that is the way that you should be doing it every time you scrub into your room. The next technique is going to be open glove technique. And really the only time as a tech that you should be using open glove technique is, uh, you know, maybe if you need to assist the nurse with uh, putting the foley in or something like that, maybe she needs a little help, you, you can open glove then. Uh, still considered sterile, but it's just an open glove technique. Um, putting dress and dressings on a uh, central line at the end of the case, maybe putting a tegaderm over the, over the central line or, or, or ephemeral line or something like that. Those are the only times you really are going to be open gloving. You should not be doing an open glove technique when you're scrubbing into your room. It should always be a closed glove technique. So let's go over this. Obviously with open glove technique I'm not gowned because the only thing that's going to be sterile are my hands. So let's open this up, careful not to touch any of the glove, and completely open up the package. Now again, we're starting with our right glove, and we're going to take the right glove, and technically, everything on the outside bottom half of this glove is considered the inside of my glove. So it's the, it's the inside cuff. So I'm, hold, I'm grasping on to the cuff of the glove, and inserting my hand in the glove. Let go. Do not touch this cuff anymore because it's no longer sterile. The only thing that's sterile are your palms and fingers. So with your palms and fingers, take your fingers over the fingers of the glove and your thumb on the cuff, kind of pull a little bit to loosen up that glove. You slide your fingers underneath the cuff Try and open it up a little bit, and your fingers slide in. Again, let it go. Palms and fingers are the only sterile thing right now. That is open glove technique. Third technique is gowning the surgeon. Surgeon's coming in, their hands are wet, their arms are wet. Just as you use your towel to dry your hands and arms off, start with the far left side. As if you're dry. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, dry your hands. <laughs> now, the technique I taught you about putting your hands in the cuffs is for gowning yourself. Now, think the exact opposite when you're gowning somebody else a surgeon, an assistant. Cuffs are on the outside. You're holding the inside tabs and pulling the gown down. The gown op opens up, folds up, and you fold your hands underneath the cuffs.
nurse will take care of the back. They'll, you know, they'll do the Velcro, they'll do the tying, get, get all that taken care of. Surgeon's hands are up. You bring their cuffs down, just over their fingers. And again, we're starting with the right glove first, holding the hands, or holding the fingers, pulling it taut to loosen up the glove. Open it all the way up, folding the cuff underneath my fingers to open up the glove for easy insertion. Same thing on the left. And that is gowning and gloving a surgeon or assistant. All right, that is it. We went through all three techniques. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know some of you are, are uh, enjoying these, uh, these basic videos, so I'm gonna continue making them because you know, they're fairly easy to make. I don't have to you know, get a lot of people in here and try and organize something. I do have a big video like that, but it's just kind of hard to organize people. Um, thanks for watching, as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.